Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up the Psycho Quad. There's a fly that I originally seen in Manitoba. I was down there on a fishing trip. There's some really good lakes down in the parkland area if you want to get down there. It's worth the trip. And I've seen this in one of the lodges. And uh, I tied it on my top 10 video too. And uh, some people think I was trying to claim that it was my pattern, and definitely not. I had other patterns on there, records and other folks that I used on that. They were just some of my favorite patterns that I like to fish, and this is definitely one of my favorites. And I found out later, uh, I seen it published, there was nothing published at the time that I knew, but here it is. It's a psychedelic Pequod uh, created by Mark Vogel in uh, Manitoba. Bob Sheedy had that in his book. so. My apologies for that, Mark. It's a great fly. You did a good job here. I like the colorations of it, and um, that's why I went home and tying them and been fishing them ever since. And, uh, and there's there's so many great fly tires out there contributing to our sport, and uh, it's nice to to share share with them. And I'm sure, def it was my intention to take credit for something that was not mine. So. My apologies again. Okay, we're going to put our 6 aught fire orange thread is what I'm using for thread. My rib is going to be small copper wire. The tail, I'm going to be using some golden marabou, the blood quill. The body, I'm using some, this is crystal dub, medium brown. It's important. Uh, Bob loves that color, so do I. I've tried it in a couple other colors too that uh, you might uh, find uh, you want to try some other colorations of it, but uh, it's a great fly pattern. And then the hackle is these beautiful little soft hackle on the partridge skin. So let's go to the vise here and uh, just a minute now. What I was going to show you, it's a 2x long size 12. And I'm using a Gamagatsu P10, very nice hooks, and uh, you can cross-reference that. Any 2x long nymph hook in size 12 is usually what I fish. I don't really fish it any other sizes. And uh, okay, so we got our fire orange thread on there. We want some nice soft uh, marabou for our tail, and this is such a suggestive little fly. And I'm going to tie that tail about a little longer than the body, the shank. You can tie it short. Sometimes you guys pinch them right off tight. Some of these I like to fly to swim a little more. I always like movement, as much movement as can create. <clears throat> That's why I, when it comes to the collar on this fly, the <clears throat> partridge, I always tie it wet fly style and get create more movement too. I don't like to tie it back. It does go back when it's wet. It's not that it doesn't, but so we'll get some uh, our crystal dub ready here. Get a little plume sticking in my finger, and we'll just dub that on with my rotary vise. Take it to the back. Get that wire out of the way there, stick it in my little spring holder. And I'll just dub it basically straight. You can taper it a little bit if you like. Basically, I'm just going with a fairly flat body there, nice copper rib. You can see kind of the marabou tail, very nice. Very nice segmentation. So now we'll bring in some of our partridge. These are beautiful little plumes worth their weight in gold. If you buy these skins, it's they're pricey too. I I know they but they're worth it. You can maybe even split one of these with your buddies or you can buy them uh, bagged up too, but you really to get the best you need to buy a skin or so what I do is fold my tip back like that. I tie it in by the tip. Some tie it in by the by the butt or the heavy stem. 
I can get more turns on this way and I can fold it back. It actually uh, goes on a lot, a lot nicer. This is a kind of spring, spring clip hackle plier that works really well for this. Got the little that works the best for these kind of hackles. Very inexpensive. I just fold my hackle back a little bit. Take a turn and it just wants to naturally flow back. And then I'll just tie it off right there. And I'm right behind the eye. Right behind the eye. I want just a small little head on here. So we just come back, get those hackles out of the way, go behind the eye. And there it's going to leave it just like so. The little fire orange head on there is a strike trigger too. That's a great idea. You can do that with so many flies. You can change up some of the materials. But just the way that hackle is folded, that it'll swim. It'll, it'll actually pulsate in the water and create a little more movement. And to me, I've always said, movement means life, life means food. And if it moves, fish are more um, inclined to eat it or than a, something that looks like a stick going through the water or whatever with not much movement. So um, that being said, so here's definitely one that you want to have in your fly arsenal. I don't care where you fish, when you fish, it's very uh, suggestive. And um, I'm going to tie some of these up for the online shop because they're not easily found anywhere in any fly stores. And uh, thanks to Mark Vogel for that. And uh, all the best. Hope to see you folks on the water. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.